died in my grandma Fanny, September the 6th, 1942. Today I house cleaned my bedroom and little Marion's bedroom. Tonight we have church fellowship. And welcome to another Thrifty Thursday. And today I'm going to share with you what I got. So it's been really good the last couple weeks. That's because this is yard sale season. And so what people don't sell, they usually give to the thrift store. So I got this candle for 50 cents. Now it is a Mrs. Myers, and it's a lot of it's used, but it's amazing, and they're really expensive for me. And I thought I could get just a little bit of it, and I love the jar as well. So I got that for fifty cents. Also, I got this candle as well. brand new and I paid one dollar for it and it's my favorite scent. I love the baked scents. I don't like the perfume scents in candles but mmm I love vanilla and sticky bun and all of those cinnamon scents. So I guess you're wondering why did I buy some candles when I can make them? Well I really like having candles that are store bought every once in a while and also I love the containers so I can reuse these containers when making my own candles. I got one of these and I love these. Now these are really expensive in the grocery store and this came from Bath and Body. I love these sponges. They're anti my and I love these sponges. So I paid 99 cents for this and I actually use this for my dishes. I don't use it for the bath. And one of these will last me, oh, quite a while. So I got one of these. Now, I'm really super excited about this. I have no idea what it is, but I know what I'm going to use it for. So maybe you guys can tell me what this is. They were 75 cents each, and they have holes in it, around it but not the bottom. And I'm going to use these inside my quart jars to strain some of my herbal oils. So I don't know what these were used for and I will zoom in my camera and see if you can tell me but they would be great in straining out small things like this 99 cents I had to get this I know it was so cute though they're little tea lights but they're gingerbread they're very expensive and so what I'll do is I'll use one of these when it is a special occasion when I'm having company or something special is I'll get out one of my special candles Now, I'm going to share with you one of my favorite magazines. Now, I don't subscribe to it at all, but they're from Canada, and it's called Family Life. This is a authentic Amish magazine. So this is Amish and Plain Mennonite magazine. You can buy it, buy it, but you have to send the money in directly. They don't have anything like the Internet, or they don't have anything like PayPal. So I, every once in a while I can get one of these, and it was $0.10, cents, and I love it. So it's Family Life. It's a publication for the Amish and for the Plain Mennonites to keep in touch with each other. And it has all kinds of stories and recipes. It's really quite quaint and unique. Last but not least, I got a book. Oh, I have a lot of books, but I have no books on composting. And I'm really learning composting. And you've seen my composter that I have. And I think this would be really good as a reference book. And I paid $2 for it. I paid 75 cents for these and 10 cents for this. So I really am excited about this compost book. I think it's going to teach me a lot and help me in learning how to compost more. Well, my friends, that's what I got on our Thrifty Thursday. And also, for those of you who missed on Wednesday's crock pot meal, I shared with how I got this t-shirt. Our very dear friend, Prepper Princess, had these shirts made for me. She actually designed the shirt and she sent it to me. So in case you missed it on Wednesday, here it is again, Homestead Tessie, and it was given to me by our very sweet Prepper Princess. In fact, if you don't know who she is, at the end of this video I'm going to share with you her icon channel. So you can click on it and maybe you can subscribe to her as well.
answer question. I had a few subscribers ask me this very good question, and I'm surprised not more of you have asked it. You said, Tessie, I've been watching your 50 Thursdays now for almost two years. What in the world do you do with all the things you buy? I know you don't like it cluttered. That's a really good question. You know, my 50 Thursdays are one of the most popular videos that I do. And I usually spend, you know, $5 now. Every once in a while I had one that I spend a lot more. But, in over time, that's a lot of things. So what I do is, generally it's things that are consumable, things that I can use. And every once in a while I'll buy something that is more, not as practical. Maybe it's pretty, maybe it's a trinket here and there. What I do is I give some of the items away in time. Like I'll make baskets for people and I'll have things that I know they enjoy. But I do keep most of my things, but sometimes things like books and things like that, after I'm done reading them, I will pass them on to someone else. So that is a really good question. You know, in this day and age where we're living in, there's so many things and so much to buy. I really am trying to focus on, when I do my Thrifty Thursdays, to use it for things that are that I can learn from, I can grow from, and I can make videos from. Because my Thrifty Thursdays are paid for by my video. So basically, I'm going to the thrift store for free. But in time, that does add up. And so I do share it with others. And I do help other organizations out by donating some things sometimes so they can earn money as well. So that is a really good question, and I'm glad you asked it.